hey, if you want to be in the mentorship program, we're almost booked up. Uh, this is probably the last time I'm going to mention it. Go below, fill out the form, fill out the short questionnaire, book a call, and we can see if we can get you into the mentorship program. Or if you just need a consulting call, that link's below as well. All right, uh, I saw this in the comments. I bought a Tesla, I have a full-time job, and I drive for Uber, and I make $1,000 a week. And first of all, congratulations, shouts out to the person who wrote that comment, because this person is working more than 40 hours a week. <clears throat> Essentially, if you want to do something, you want to create something, the money's out here. The money is out here, but you've got to work. And once again, congratulations to this person. I got a full-time job, I bought me a Tesla, I try for Uber, and I make a thousand bucks a week. This is telling me, I don't know what they do for a full-time job. Maybe they work from home, I don't know but this person is going after it this person is trying to get it and one of the things that you guys have got to understand the money well let's go ahead and talk about the easy money the money that was easy to get to the money that was that that's just not the thing that's just not the thing anymore so if you want to go ahead and put yourself in a position where you can go ahead and get that money, you gotta work. And this is one of the areas that I really, really have a problem with a lot of people because everyone is looking for the hack. Once again, if you called me and you, we had a conversation, I won't say thank you. And I, I would go ahead and put it in perspectives that the majority of the people who called me we're trying to do something or trying to build something but there was a group who were looking for the hack how can I get money without doing the work and um, that's a very very hard thing I, I don't have anything in my my stock my bag I have nothing in my Christmas bag for those people there's no bag where you can go ahead reach into the bag pull stuff out and start to make a lot of money without actually doing the work. So yes, inflation is here. Housing prices are gone up. Car prices have crashed. Um, looked up the price of that Tesla. She had a brand new Tesla. I talked to her. She was not renting the Tesla. I don't know if she was married. She had a ring on, she could have been married, but she, and it had a Tesla drive out tag. So she bought this car brand new from Tesla and she drives for Uber. So, you know, I, I saw a lot of conversations in there and it's like maybe she was renting the car. No, she she's not renting the car. She actually told me I bought this car to drive for Uber. And, you know, there's a lot of conversation about that because, you know, years and years ago, I actually drove for Uber so I could write a book about Uber. I drove for Uber for about six, seven weeks. And I quickly figured out that Uber should have been a part-time gig. It should have never been, and this was years, this is like 2014, so this was almost 10 years ago. It, but now, Uber is very, very different. Uber is really, really different because um, I was talking to her and she was like, I can come out when I want to. She can do the day shift. She can do the evening shift. She can do the weekend shift. And she prefers to do the day. She said that she got better customers during the days. And, you know, if you're willing to do the work, that money, the money, money is out here. The money is available for you to get. The money is out here if you're willing to do the work. And once again, to the person who left that comment, hand, shout, shout out, hats off, congratulations. You are putting yourself in a very different category 
because if you're working that hard, you're going to have money and you're going to be prepared to deal with what I like. You know, there's a lot of discussion. Are we going to have a recession in 2024? And there are many people who are thinking not because it's an election year. And I'm thinking mm, probably we are. I don't know. But here's the thing. What is a recession? A recession is when the economy takes a few steps back, right? So when you actually go ahead and get in the economy and start to work hard, you put yourself in a position where you can weather the storm, recession, no recession. And I know for a fact you can build a successful business in a recession. I know this for a personal fact. Uh, this is the YouTube channel, Conundrum Publishing, the book, the blog, all that stuff got started during the recession. And I made money. I made money. So you, you can't be a, you can't be scared to go after the money. You cannot be timid. You cannot be um, in a position where you're looking to get the money, to do the money, to actually you, you, you got to go out and get it. You got to set yourself up where you can get that money, where you can go ahead and put yourself in a position to capitalize on the opportunities that exist because there's a ton of opportunities that exist. There's a ton of things out there that exist that you can do to make more money for yourself, for your family and whatever else you've got going on. So they're, they're like, uh, you know, the phone calls reveal something like, uh, like I said, I got a lot of really good phone calls. I had a lot of really good conversations and the phone calls revealed to me that we do have people who are hungry. We do have people who want to do things. We have people who want to build. We have people who want to create. We have people who are strategizing. We have people who are trying to set things up, trying to do things, trying to create trying to build. Uh, I had a really good conversation with a lady this week who has started her own business. So there, there's a group of people who are hard charging, who want to do it, who want to set it up, who want to create this better life for themselves. So they're out there, they exist, and they're just waiting to set themselves up where they can be effective in this new economy. This new economy, it ain't, it ain't playing with people. New economy is not playing with people. It's not, you know, you've got to be very serious. You got to be really focused to actually do well in this new economy. This new economy is, is rough. The new economy is real. The new economy is, if you don't have money in your pockets, the new economy will let you know that ain't good enough. The new economy is not playing with people. The new economy is evicting single mothers with three kids on the streets. The new economy is not playing with folks. All right. So if you want to make it recession, no recession, whatever you can, you simply can if you put it in your head. All right. So like I said, this will be the last time that I will mention the mentorship program. I feel I got a room for a few more people. And after that, it's going to be full. And then I'll create just a waiting list. So if you need consulting, that's something you can go below the mentorship thing and get in there and we will start working on that. All right. That's all I got for you this morning. I will talk to you guys in the next one.